Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how to implement destructible tiles in your Godot 3.2 game. The final result will be similar to what you see on screen, so let's get straight into it. So the basic setup is as such. We have our tile map with a tile set, which we can see over here. The different frames for our destructible tile are actually separate tiles inside the tile set, and we will be switching between them when the tile gets hit. So the code that takes care of the destruction of the tiles is actually inside of our bullet. So the first thing that we'll do is set up a tile map variable which will get the tile map from our parent, which is the game node, as well as two other variables that will help us determine the tile that we are colliding with, the cell variable and the tile ID variable. You can see a visual representation of the cell variable in the bottom left corner of the screen over there. It is basically just x and y positions of the tau divided by the tau width and height. We will also be getting the tau ID of the tau that we are colliding with and the tau ID is basically the unique identifier of the tau within the tau set. So the first tau in the tau set has tau ID 0, the second tau has tau ID 1, and since we will be switching from tau ID 2 into tau ID 3 and into tau ID 4, while we're destroying the tile, we need to know which one we're dealing with. So on our collision, when we are colliding uh, with any object, we get the object that we are colliding with inside our bullet. Object we're colliding with could be an enemy inside the game, or it could be a tile map. And if we're colliding with a tile map, the way we check that we are is by getting collision dot collider dot name and checking that it's the tile map, which is named tile map inside our game. In order to get the cell we are colliding with, we call tile map world to map and pass it a vector 2 of x and y coordinates of the tile. In this case, we pass the collision position minus the collision normal. And the reason why we pass the collision normal is as follows. Here's a visual representation of the tile we are colliding with. Um, over here, this is the tile we are colliding with, this is the collision position. It is exactly on the edge of the tile, so it's not exactly inside the tile. And the normal of the collision is a vector of length 1 pointing away from the tile. So in order to bring um, our position inside the tile, we subtract the normal. After that, we get the tile ID. And the way that we get the tau ID is by calling tau map get cell v and passing it the cell position. If we're colliding with a tau that's not destroyed yet, we'll get tau ID 2 and we'll set it to 3, which is slightly destroyed. If we get tau ID 3, which we'll set, we'll set the tau to tau ID 4, which is almost fully destroyed. And then if we get tau ID 4 will set cell to negative 1, which is no cell. So we, we essentially get rid of the, get rid of the tau uh, completely. And this is how you implement destructible tiles in your Godot game. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a good day.